you know, just being able to express myself artistically. Maybe I'll be able to move around in my chair, pick something up, eat something. Yeah, I'm hoping for that day. I don't need a perfect life. I don't need the best of anything. I just want to feel human again. The first thing we do is bolt a frame onto their skull. What are the measurements, please? And they have to be awake. And how are you doing? We then drill two holes in their head. We then place electrodes within troublemaking areas in the brain. This is a game where you have to be within one millimeter. What are the measurements, please? One millimeter difference means the difference between success and failure. We're going to go down to zero. Which put it about there. All right, so we're in. So we should start recording around. You're starting to hear some of the neurons in your brain now. Once we're inside, we get the patient to move their arm or their leg. And we see whether those neurons are activated. So this neuron is involved in moving the shoulder. Cleaned? Yes. Steps. Steven's procedure is truly the most remarkable development that I've witnessed in my career, and truly something I didn't think any of us would see in our lifetimes. We're ready for the implants? It essentially is a coalescence of machine and man in a way that is really quite hard to fathom. We're good. Calipers, please. And. We're now going to start to put some electricity through your electrode. What we are seeing is that technology is becoming part of us. When I say three, you tell me if you feel that, right? Because we are linking biological brains directly to machines. Look at her face carefully. There's a contraction of her lip. One, two, three. So four is definitely motor face. You look at machines, they're capable, right? The cell there. They're bigger, they're faster, they're stronger, all that stuff. Go ahead with the vitrectomy now. The human's a fragile beast, but it's creative and it's smart and can push beyond. Electrodes are functioning? Yes. Bring them together, it's symbiosis. Focus up. That's good. Where you can keep the pieces that make us human. Use the advantages of the machine in ways we haven't been able to do before. Marking pen, please. By this combination of electronics and the human body, is infusion on? I would hazard to say it's one of the most amazing achievements in all of medicine. Forceps. To be able to give back abilities to people that otherwise had no options whatsoever. Load the tag. Secure. Is really quite remarkable. And you're going to go to sleep. And after that, we're going to put the battery in your chest. OK. We are just seeing the very beginnings of this technology. So we're going to leave the electrode here, where there will be a blurring of the boundary between machine and biology. And the two will one day merge. We're done. <laughs>